Hey guys, it's Jerry Shrek from VarietyTrainer.com. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a potentially make a free piece of training equipment or a piece of training equipment that really doesn't cost a lot of money. But if you were to buy one, it would cost a lot. Of money. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to make a, a lighter weight mace and a mace. Um, for those of you who know what know what a mace is, it's like a long pipe with a big heavy weight on it. A lot of strong men train with it, a lot of other people train with it, a lot of core and shoulder mobility staples, even they're gonna swing it around. There's different different levering tools that you can use for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna make it out of a wolf ball bat, if you will. And it's almost like a, like an Indian club, but it's gonna be a little heavier than what I would standardize as an Indian club. And Indian clubs we use to to work the shoulders and, and stabilize, but those we I generally if we're going to do Indian club work, I generally want to keep that within the one to two pound range. I don't really think Indian clubs should go very heavy, unless you're going to do something different. But for what I like to use Indian clubs for, we'll keep it light. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make homemade homemade mace or a heavier Indian club right now. Um, and I got this actually, I believe I got this from Joe Hashi from SynergyAthletics.com. Um, a video on how to make these, so I expanded on it a little bit. We're using a little bit bigger than a wiffle ball bat. Um, what we're going to do is, I have this, I found this bat, tar plastic, uh, found it in my uh, grandfather's barn, and I believe it's actually mine from when I was a child, a lot younger. And what I'm going to do here is take this heavy duty plastic bat, and there's a hole in it. You see that? hole right there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drill that hole out a little wider and then I'm going to funnel some sand in. So this thing cost me anything. I have sand left over from when I had built some sandbags for the weight room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that sand. I think I believe I, I paid $3 for this bag of sand down at the hardware store. Once I drill that out, I'm going to funnel sand in. I'm going to vary it. I'm going to try and find a weight that I think is functional. Uh, without putting too much stress on the plastic of the back, okay, so it holds up over time. After I get that filled to the, to the right amount of weight I want, and the height of the back, I'm going to take this, this gap filler stuff. You can get this at the hardware store. I think I paid four, four something for this, maybe five bucks tops, okay? Um, I'm going to actually end up spraying this down the funnel of the back, fill up the rest of the back with this um, filler gap. That's going to keep the sand in here. It's going to make it very hard for the sand to travel out through the back and make a mess. You don't want to make a mess in your facilities or in your house or wherever you're training. And then what I'll probably end up doing is taking some duct tape. I'm probably going to duct tape the top off again. And I might even put some duct tape on the back to reinforce it just to give it a little more rigidity. Uh, just to keep it a little stronger. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. Uh, We'll find out. This is part one of the video. I will have a part two, and if it does turn out, I'll, I'll show you. And if it doesn't, I'm going to show you anyways. That way you know. Um, but I think it's going to turn out pretty good. And if it does, I'm going to show you how to train with this and, and what you, some of the exercises you can do. And really, your imagination is going to be your limiting factor. But there are some things that I specifically want to make with this and to do with my training. Okay? So stay tuned. Look for part two. Uh, I'm going to make this now, and, and then I uh, will come back with part two, show you how it turned out, and hopefully it turns out great. And like I said, I'm probably making this whole instrument for under 10 bucks. Okay, so you can't beat that. If you go out and buy any clubs online, they're like 80 bucks a pair. Uh, so we're showing you how to do this very cheap, and it's going to be very functional, and you're going to be able to use it in your workouts. Okay, uh, thank you, and Again, it's Jerry Shrek from VarietyTrainer.com. You can go over to the site and check out some more information. We're going to put some more articles, some more information out there for you. So check it out, and I will see you in part two. Thank you.